the dream that I had, um, all I can remember, and I'm glad that I just remember certain pieces. Um, I thank the Lord for that. Um, he knows how he does it and how he works with each of us because I don't think I can handle major, like, overwhelming stuff. Um, you know, to be honest with you guys, I, uh, it's just too much. But I just remember being on the floor like if someone hit me or something, just being on the floor of a building of I don't know what. I remember getting up because I guess the person thought like, like that was it for me. I remember getting up and in my mind mentality was my kid you know I'm thinking I'm out my little one and I remember seeing so many people in the building screaming the yelling I was just so worried for my son where is he who has him I finally when I I, I see this room and and I see this room, I see my son being held by a man that I don't even know. His pants was down. You, as a mom, you just go crazy, right? I, I ran, I took him off, whoever this person was. I, I covered him up and as I'm, and as I'm looking, it's like I, I got up at the right time because when I looked, I'm seeing this, what, what looks to be a woman, beautiful, nice, but when she was, she was naked. And when I see her naked, she was not a woman. And then I see this man, um, just don't mind my cat. I see this, this man that just looked so evil, just so much evil in his eyes. I just remember grabbing my, my, my child and, 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 and trying to just run for my life. I felt exhausted. I felt just completely overwhelmed tired I remember grabbing my my little one and every night before bedtime I I teach him the 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 prayer the way how Jesus tells us to pray and then I remember having him um, say a quick prayer you know um, just in case you know Lord forgive all my sins you know may the blood of Jesus wash all my sins away and things like that and I remember just running and so finally as I see an exit door of this weird building and I mean this is like a so many floor levels I can't even imagine it was the weirdest thing it's like I didn't even know where I was how I got there it's like I was running for my life um, I noticed that there was an, on the wall there was a picture there was like these little um, uh, photos like a photo that was put in a frame and it was hung up on the one of the walls and for some reason like the attention grabbed me to look at that picture and when I grab my kid and I'm like this and I look at the picture very closely I noticed that the picture there was a woman and people there and she was holding a, a, like a like a paper like a paper you know like a poster or something and when she was holding that paper, um, it says, the hour has come. And when I look at that image and I see that it says, the hour has come, I knew, I knew that the Lord was near. And now finally when I'm outside with my kid, I, I'm praying to God, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, Lord Jesus, help me, give me strength. Finally, there was just so much chaos, so much commotion in the world. Um, all of a sudden, everyone starts looking up. And all the clouds, all the clouds are getting together. They start joining together, the clouds, the clouds, all the clouds, and I start looking, I knew. I knew that the Lord was there. And the, inside the clouds, you guys, inside the clouds, I see this big bright light, this big bright light inside the cloud. And I got on my knees and I put my kid next to me and I got on my knees. And when I got on my knees, I, I stopped praying to, I stopped praying and I start, you know, I all I say to myself when I, when I got on my knees, I said, Lord, I am so happy you are finally here because I am exhausted. 
I am so tired and I can't wait to be home. And as I was there, just praying, praying just to finally like lift me up. I want to go home because it was just so much sadness, you guys. So much chaos. Like it's going to get bad. It's going to get so bad to the point that, you know, we have to be strong in those days. You know, we have to be so strong because the the the, the hatred, the hatreds and people, the violence is going to get worse. Um and and then as I'm looking that the clouds are getting up and everyone's watching, everyone's like this just staring up into the clouds. As the clouds are forming, they're forming. And it's really huge and everyone's seeing like what's going on. I knew what was going on, but I can see a few of them that they were caught off guard. Like they didn't know what was going on. And then inside the clouds as I'm watching it, I see angels popping out. Because this big bright light, I still couldn't, uh, I knew who, I knew it was Jesus, but I still couldn't see his face because the bright light was just so bright. It was so bright. And then I see these angels with, with wings, so many angels popping out through the clouds, so many angels, right, left, everywhere, everywhere. And finally, when I was like this, on my knees waiting, I woke up, I woke up, and let me tell you, when I woke up from that dream, I woke up like, because to me it felt real, it felt so real, I woke up exhausted, I still woke up with that feeling of, like I just been working so much, you know, with the running, in my, like running, running for my life, running for safetyness running away from everywhere you see it was just so much violence and chaos going around um i i just i i just woke up just very like you know like wow 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 you know and then one thing that i remember from the dream was that the clouds he it wasn't like jesus stepped down on earth the clouds just stayed in the sky it stayed in the sky and all the angels were popping out from left to right you know and this big bright light was just right there in the middle in the center just big bright light was right in the center you guys it was an amazing remarkable dream you know because when I got into the Bible and I started reading the Bible and I went to Revelation Revelation chapter 14 and I started reading listen to this then I saw an angel flying in mid-air and he had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth to every nation tribe language and people he said in a loud voice fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come worship him who made the heavens the earth the sea and the spring of water a second angel followed and said fallen fallen is babylon the great which made all the nations drink the maddened wine of her adultery you guys remember when i said to you that when i the the dream when i woke up from in the dream that when i can remember how it started off I started off getting up from the floor like someone knocked me out or something like that and they just left me for dead and I got up in my mind thinking where's my son and I went and I saw him halfway naked and then when I looked remember listen which made all the nation drink the maddened wine of her adultery remember Babylon is who America is is America a third angel followed them and said in a loud voice if anyone worship the beast in his image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment will rise from ever forever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast in his image 
or for anyone who receives a mark of his of its name this calls for patience Patience, endurance on the part of the people of God who keeps his commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. Okay. Then I heard a, a voice from heaven saying, write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the spirit. They will rest from their labor for their deeds will follow them. And then after that chapter, I came to this one. And this is in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. It says, look. He is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him, so he shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. You guys are listening to this? This serious stuff. And I wanted to just read this real quick. Every man, woman, and child living with, when Jesus returns will see him. The staggering brightness of his coming will stretch from the horizon to horizon. Luke chapter 17 verse 24. The atmosphere will be charged with brilliant glory like lightning. Okay. Remember what I saw? That he came in and the light was just so bright. But instead of expanding itself from right to left okay angels angels just popping on the brightness was just everywhere okay so you guys that you know in the getting confused with the whole saying that it says that uh, um you know G, uh, when jesus comes as a thief in peter um second peter chapter 3 verse 10 it says but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat both the earth and the works that are in that are in it will be burned up okay what god is coming about he's it ain't like he's going to come in very quietly as like a thief he's saying that he will be like a thief in the night for those that are not prepared okay those that never prepared okay that god's been knocking on their door you know, and they haven't been listening. For them, he is going to be like like a thief. But for the ones that are paying attention and are obeying, and are obeying his laws, he's not going to be a thief because every eye will see him. Every eye will see him. Okay? So that expression, Lord will come as a thief in the night, is an expression that you know what i mean for most people that are not if he will be like oh my gosh like i said in the dream you guys in the dream some of those people didn't even know what was going on when they were looking up into the heavens but some of us that knew the truth knew who he was knew who who that it was jesus you know but a lot of them were caught off guards i'm going to leave it up to here you guys um, I needed to just share with all of you, share this dream. Um, it's important. It's meaningful. I, I, you know, I, I thank God for that dream. So I'm able to share with you guys. Um, lately, um, I never had dreams like this before, like like so staggering and and and, and so close together, and. You know, I, I don't know if that's a sign as well as the fact that, that the hour is so close now that God is using his, his people, you know, to get the word out, get the message out, you know, to as many as people as possible so they can never say, no one told me so. Why didn't no one told me so? They will, no one will be able to say that because everyone will know that sometime and along their lifetime, God has tried to talk to them and they've just been ignoring. So if, you know, you're listening and you feel that the Lord's been touching your heart quite often and you've just been kind of putting it aside, don't, don't put it aside for too long because I'm telling you, things are just getting bad and things are going to get worse. The anger in people's heart will grow, increase. It's all in the Bible, you know read it really read it you know 
Stop with just sometimes just listening to people. Grab the Bible, buy it, purchase it, get it from a friend, you know, and really read into it, really get into it and get knowledge, get truth, fill yourself with that information because that's going to save you. That will save you. God bless you guys. And until we meet again, bye.